The old continent is fascinating for any traveler with its abundance of history, cultures, and diverse landscape. Those who want to travel to Europe's nations should put museums, churches, and other historical sites on their itinerary. Europe is home to many idyllic settings, world-class cuisines, and ancient cities. It's not surprising that Europe has some of the world's most breathtaking sites. In this video, we'll show you the top 10 places to visit in Europe. Number 10, Krakow, Poland. This is the Polish neighborhood that doesn't require any introduction. The old town, made well known as one of the first urban UNESCO World Heritage Sites, is a labyrinth of cobbled lanes and alleys, wide streets with historic merchant houses lining the pavements, and most importantly, sprawling squares where medieval churches and trading houses still loom above the flagstone. There is no other place that more accurately captures the rich history and culture of Poland's past. There are parks sprouting up all over the city, from Jordana's lawns peppered with statues to the vast meadows of Blonia, where roller bladers weave past the crowds in the evening and runners jog and perfect for a spot of slacklining. Number 9. London, England. Big Ben, the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace, the London Eye. The list is endless. Nothing compares to the experience of boarding a red double-decker bus and viewing some of the most recognizable landmarks in the world from its top deck. There's no better city in the world to experience the best shopping than London. Whether you have cash burning a hole in your wallet or you just want to look through some windows, get overwhelmed by the crowds on Oxford Street, astounded by the cost in Knightsbridge, and charmed by the boutiques near Carnaby Street, the history of London is extremely lengthy and compelling. If you visit some of the city's historical sites and museums, you learn more than you could possibly recall about how much of the nation's culture was developed there. Number 8. Rek Javik, Iceland Javik is Iceland's cultural and artistic center. Cafe culture reigns throughout the day with lively conversations. As evening falls, patrons begin to pour into the city's top-notch eateries. Local foods are served alongside flavorful fresh lamb, seafood, or wild game. Rek Javik is a city of striking contrast. It is simultaneously urban and rural, youthful and sophisticated, and historically rich. There are also a lot of landmarks, both old and new, including the recently built Harpa Conference and music venue. Fortunately, everything in Rakshjevic is close by, including attractions like museums, art galleries, theaters, cafes, and swimming pools. So biking or walking might be the best way to explore the city. Numerous day trips can be taken from the city to the nearby mountains, glaciers, volcanoes, and hot springs. Horseback riding, glacier climbing, river rafting, caving, whale watching, and other activities are available as day trips from Rakshjevic. Number seven, Dubrovnik and its surrounds, Croatia. There's always been a certain magic to Dubrovnik. Despite its overabundance of Game of Thrones tourists, it takes less than an hour to reach Montenegro, a country slowly regaining its post-war mojo, especially with the upcoming arrival of Janu, Amon's younger sister, Bran. There is a turquoise swimmable lagoon surrounded by Niagara-like falls at the Kravis Waterfalls, less than three hours in the north from Mostar, an exquisite Bosnian city with very light millhouse restaurants and Ottoman stone bridges. The car-free abandoned Elafiti islands of Kolosep, Sepan, and Lopad, which are accessible by nearby ferries, are the alternative route. Lopad, an island with stone homes from the Renaissance, exotic gardens, and abandoned forts is the one to go to this year. Francesca Thyssen Bornemisa, a philanthropist and Swiss art patron, spent a laborious 20 years meticulously renovating the Franciscan Monastery, which is now open as a five-suite Lopud 1483. She and her family have preserved the rough plaster work and patina of the old monastery while filling the 5,000 square meter monastery with Renaissance and contemporary art, a Franciscan pharmacy, and a Arctic shaman-designed meditation garden. Number six, Skane, Sweden. Skane is a distinctive location that offers a wide range of experiences, from the distinctive architecture of Malmo to turquoise natural landscapes with sizable stretches of rapeseed fields that are a bright yellow color, enchanted beach, tree forests, and white sand beaches. Orison Bridge, Ferry Connections, and Malmo Airport all make it simple to reach Denmark and Northern Europe from this lovely province. In and around cities like Malmo Lund, Helsingborg, Ystad, Trelleborg, and Bestad, it also provides a ton of lodging options, dining options, and outdoor activities. A rich variety of cultural attractions, such as world-class museums, historic cold bathhouses, and century-old castles can be added to this to create a well-rounded destination for a summer vacation or dreamy road trip. Wonderful towns and cities, each with its own personality and cultural highlights, are abundant in Skane, Melmo. The multiracial capital of the area is home to a variety of attractions, many which serve as reminders of Skane's former status as a Danish county. On the remains of a fort from the 15th century, King Christian III of Denmark constructed Malmö's castle in the mid-1530s. 
This well-preserved Renaissance castle is the first of its kind in Scandinavia and is now a museum. Number five, Rome, Italy. Rome is a historic city. This means that wherever you go to the city, you'll see some amazing old structures to marvel at. There are many Renaissance and other ages wonders to visit, so there are some of those historic structures that aren't all that old. There are many stunning palazzi and piazzi located throughout the city. The influence of the popes is largely responsible for that. Over the course of many hundreds of years, they and their noble families commissioned countless public and private works to develop the city's distinctive architectural style. Many of the iconic buildings and make Rome what it is today were built by the many architects, painters, and sculptors who flocked to the city. The Centro Storico is UNESCO recognized in large part. That's not even mentioning the Colosseum, which is a top reason to travel to Rome. Number four, Florence, Italy. The location where the Renaissance began. Everyone is familiar with the Renaissance, but studying it in school and seeing where it all started firsthand are two very different things. Every turn you make reveals a fresh narrative, an intriguing triviality, or a stunning structure or work of art that is impossible to miss. There's a lot to do and see because it is the birthplace of the Renaissance. One of the most well-known art museums in the world located in Florence is home to numerous Renaissance masterpieces. The famous works by historical artists like Raphael, Raphael, Michelangelo, Da Vinci, Botticelli, Giotto, Titian, to name a few, draw hundreds, thousands of tourists to Florence every year. Number three, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Amsterdam isn't dubbed the Venice of the North for nothing. The city has more than 60 miles of canals and 1,281 bridges, three times as many as Venice during the 17th century. When Amsterdam was a small fishing town, the canal ring was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A must-do in Amsterdam is a canal cruise, whether it be on a private boat or a traditional canal boat tour. It should come as no surprise that Amsterdam Amsterdam is home to some of the best museums and art galleries in all of Europe, including the renowned Rijks Museum and Van Gogh Museum in Museum Square. It is the world's largest collection of Van Gogh's artwork, containing over 200 paintings, 500 drawings, and letters. Number two, Paris, France. Paris is a good idea at all times. One of the most romantic cities in Europe and one of the most popular tourist destinations is Paris. Paris is a sophisticated and diverse city that is popular with the wealthy, but also accessible to those on a budget. Paris has countless other stunning landmarks and monuments in addition to the Eiffel Tower, which enhanced the beauty of the wide boulevards and their charming cafes. The best of French cuisine, which is also renowned throughout the world, can be found in Paris. There are numerous fascinating museums and art galleries, as well as top-notch stores and a thriving fashion scene. There are lots of enjoyable day trips near Paris that can be taken to gain a deeper understanding of the culture and history of France. Number one, Santorini, Greece. Santorini is one of the most well-liked honeymoon locales in Europe, and for justifiable reasons. The northern village of Oya offers postcard-perfect sunset views, and there's the dreamy back backdrop of whitewashed blue dome houses and the deep Aegean Sea. There are many opportunities to relax on the beach, go on a private boat tour, visit an opulent spa, and enjoy open-air dining high on the hilltops with those breathtaking views once more. No matter where you are, you cannot deny that Santorini sunsets are breathtaking. The setting resembles a huge postcard. As the sun sets, it's replaced by stunning varied hues of blue, crimson, and everything else in between. Watching this nightly phenomenon is most popular in the village of Oya, located in the northern tip of the island. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.